Check out how quiet this motor is that I just got. And yes, it's running right now. It's so amazing. So it kind of makes me think, if this can be this quiet, well, can my other motors be that quiet just with a little bit of oil? Pick this up for $7. And I'm really happy with it. There's two places you can add oil. I would think that some sewing machine oil would do just the trick. Oops. So I'm going to put two drops in there and we'll see what, if it helps at all. Okay, I want four drops. Let's do six. So now this one probably already has enough oil in it. But it probably doesn't hurt too much to have more. Now we have this motor, which... It's a bit noisy, but it's also 20 years older. That other one was, I believe, from the 1940s or 50s, and this is from like the 1920s or 30s. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it has such a good seal on here that it's just making a bubble across the top. This is a shitty design because it's all going on the outside and none of it is going on the inside. There we go. Doesn't seem to be making any difference. Personally, I like the other types of connectors better. The little, like, ones where you flip up, like on the previous motor. Might as well add some of that oil to the thing here to keep it from rusting too much, I guess. So they didn't have too much of an effect. That's unfortunate. Maybe I should add more, though. But what I do hope will actually have an effect is this old fan. It's a little uh, hole for oil right here, so I'm going to put some in there. Get some more. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's coming out the bottom, whoops. Maybe that was a bit too much. I've never taken this thing apart, so it's hard to tell what it's supposed to do. Sure, it's not conductive, but it seems to be doing okay. Now, before this thing was very uh, hot, after just a few minutes, and when I turned it off, it would stop very quickly. It's a little bit better, but I think it's kind of similar. Isn't it funny the lack of safety features like just like think of that like all of the openness of that that's horrible. Oh that is actually getting pretty hot so I guess these just got hot. This is kind of a little bit of nothing. That first motor I showed that I recently got was a General Electric AC motor with thermal protection. I think it's one sixth horsepower, so it's kind of cool. And then the other one is a what is a Century? Uh, General Electric also.
You can tell by the patent date that this was after World War II, I think, because I believe I believe patents hit the two million mark right around World War II. Yeah, so that was a little experiment. I was just trying to see if that would have any effect. I, I figured since I was putting these away, I might as well go ahead and test it out, but oh well. If you guys could please give me some information about this, like what kind of oil are you supposed to use for that? How much are you supposed to use? Is it going to make it much quieter? I mean, I'm just not really familiar with lubricating motors, so I'm not really sure. Well, that's pretty much it. Just a little, little quick little video of experimenting with if there's any noticeable effects of oiling a, an old motor. I mean, it's probably not going to do much harm, but who knows. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and thank you very much for watching. See ya.